Now we are going to see what is 2 by 3 of 27 and 3 by 4 of 132. So you have to find out the answer for this question. The same what is but uh, but but it is only the number is given. In this particular subdivision they are given only the number 2 by 3 of 27. 27 is a number. So 27 is a whole number 2 by 3 of 27. So um, how much part you can find out that is the thing. So 2 by 3 of 20, one, one, 2 by 3 of 27 and 3 by 4 of 132 next is what is the same uh, same type but what why 5 by 6 of a dozen that means uh, here they're given the number but they're given only the words here so look at the sums now we are going to solve the problems first one is what is 2 by 3 of 27 2 by 3 is a fraction of 27 27 is a whole number 2 by 3 is a fraction so we are going to find how much part we have to that is what we are going to do so first question is 2 by 3 of 2 by 3 of means into 27 so 27 is a whole number i've told you 2 by 3 is a fraction 2 is a numerator and 3 is a denominator so just we have to cancel 3 uh, if you cancel by 3 3 by 3 divided by 3 you can get 1 if you divide by 3 means you can get what 9 so the answer is 2 into 9 so you must say the ninth table or 2 tables so i'm using the ninth table here 1 9s are 9 and 2 9s are 18 so the answer is 18 so you can get 18 parts next is b sum so 3 by 4 of 132 you have to put the multiplication sign here so i'm going to cancel by 4 so 4 is divided by 4 you can get 1 so now i'm going to cancel 132 by 4 so 132 if you don't know means you have to divide 132 divided by 4 so 4 3 is are 12 so 13 minus 12 you can get what the remaining part is 1 so what are you going to do so next is you have to bring down this 2 so how many time it goes that means 4 3 is are 12 again so 12 minus 12 you can get what 0 the what is the answer that means 33 so how much part you can get 33 parts that is that is the answer for this sum so first sum you can get 2 by 3 into 27 2 by 3 off means you what you have to do you have to put a multiplication sign here into 27 i'm going to cancel by 3 so 3 divided by 3 you can get 1 and the same 3 is divided by 27 means you can get 9 so 9 into 2 you can get 18 that means 18 is a you can get you can get 2 by 3 of 27 means the answer is 18 that is the 18 part you can get it next is 3 by 4 into 132 you have to cancel by 4 so the same number so 4, uh, four i'm going to um, what i'm going to cancel by 4 4 divided by 4 you can get 1 the same 4 i'm going to cancel it here otherwise you can do one thing if you do one thing uh, directly uh, 4 i'm going to cancel uh, the, uh, cancel 4 uh, to 132 divided by 4 that means what you're going to say 3 divided by 4 into 132 so 4 i'm going to divide so 4 if i'm going to divide by 4 means 4 is going to cancel by 4 you can get 1 the same 4 i'm also using here so 132 is going to divide by 4 because directly some uh, children because it is a huge number you don't know the table of uh, up to 132 you don't know because uh, that is the reason because most of the children we know the table up to 20 or 25 not more than that that is the thing i have uh, uh, I show that a division part here so look at this if you don't know how to cancel um, what by 4 that is 132 divided by 4 so if you don't know can if you you don't know how to cancel 132 divided by 4 means you do one thing you have to do like this division then finally you have to write the answer on the top of the number okay that's the thing so if you don't know how to cancel by 4 means 132 is a huge number is a big number if you don't know how to cancel by 4 means you do one thing better you have to do the what division like this is a long division use the long division like this then after that you have to you uh, write the quotient on the top of the number so the answer is 33 next is what is 5 by 6 of a dozen so first of all the first question second uh, that is what is the fourth subdivision a so 5 by 6 of a dozen so 5 by 6 of a dozen is a question so i've told you already you know that 1 dozen is equal to 12 
12 numbers okay anything it is maybe one dozen of apple that is 12 apple one dozen of banana 12 bananas one dozen of govas that means 12 govas like this okay that is what so you have to 5 by 6 off so i told you you have to put a multiplication sign then you have to write 12 so after that i have to cancel by 6 6 divided by 6 you can get 1 and say, uh, 12 is going to cancel by 6 mean you can get what uh, 6 twos are 12 so the answer is 5 into 2 you can get 10 that means 10 numbers and if you here you have write only the 10 numbers okay numbers n o means number better you do one thing n u m b e r s that's right way okay this is the answer for this question i'll repeat once again 5 by 6 off means you have to put a multiplication sign i've told you 1 doesn't means 12 number that is what i've written 12 here so i'm going to cancel by 6 6 divided by 6 you can get 1 12 is cancelled by 6 you can get 2 so 5 into 2 you can get 10 number okay the next sum is what i'm going to do so 2 by 5 of an hour so 2 by 5 into 1 hour is equal to that means 1 hour means how much you know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes 1 hour is equal to how many minutes 16 minutes okay so 2 by 5 of means what you're going to do you have to put a multiplication sign then you have to write 60 because uh, 1 hour is equal to 16 minutes because year is given as hour that is what I've written so after that the final answer comes under in what minutes okay that is what 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes that is what I've written 60 so 5 is going to cancel by 60 5 divided by 5 you can get 1 so the same 5 is cancelled by uh, 60 that what you're going to do 12 5s are 60 if you don't know means you have to do the division here 60 is going to divided by 5 1 5s are 5 you have to write 5 6 minus 5 you can get what 1 you have to bring down the 0 because 1 you can't divide by 5 because is 1 is less than 5 so you have to bring down the next digit so 10 5 2s are 10 so 10 minus 10 you can get what 0 okay so you can get 2 into 12 what is the answer you can get 24 so 24 minutes okay that is the right answer for this question so i have explained all the what four sums